Okay, let's recap. This is our signing in screen for Codex system. We c it comes up with training. At the moment, our password is training. Now remember, we have two screens, the top and the bottom screen. On the top screen, we have various screens we can pull up to use. The core book screen, the queue screen, which we looked at in the first lesson, which I would like to look at a little bit more. If we go into the queue screen, you can see we have now all our queue names, or we call them all our plots, alphabetically listed. What we want to do is we want to list them by location. So if I press this here, the location, we now have our hill cast first, which is means Stamford Hill, nearby, Edgeman, Golders Green and Hendon, and our airports. Those are the plots we use most. You will notice here that we still have empty plots, which means we don't have any cars in Manor House, nor do we have any jobs waiting. Therefore, that plot is really not important to us right now. On this side, if we right-click anywhere, we can say Hide in Active Queues, which will now eliminate all the queues that don't have any cars or any jobs in it, and makes it much easier to read. The bubble on top here is the way to communicate for the office with the control center. It tells us whether we can or can't take on any jobs. And at the moment we are being told in Stamford Hill we can quote cars within 10 minutes. In Golders Green we don't have any cars at all. We should parcel, put parcel cars on hold and we don't have any seven-seaters. This changes constantly. The way you see that it's a new message is if that bubble is as big as it is now. Once you've read the bubble, you press it with your, app, with your mouse and it really becomes small and it's going to be up here. So therefore you don't have to continue looking whether there is a new message on there. As soon as a big message appears again, you know something's changed. Just keep a note of what you've been told to do. On the bottom screen, we were looking at jobs. Again, there are various ways of looking at all the jobs. Whether we want to look at live jobs, which means those are the jobs which are happening right now, whether they're waiting to go out, whether a driver is on the way to it or is actually doing the job. What we usually are interested in is the undispatched jobs. And that shows us what jobs are at the moment being looked at to be given out. Again, this can also be tailor-made according to how you like it. On the very top line here, you can right-click and you can say what field you would like or not like to see. For example, for us to work with, the type of job is not really important for us. We could take that away. We can also take away the template. That just shows you how it's set up on a regular basis, if it's a regular job. Okay, we can take away the stops, they're not interesting. We can also take away the pickup postcode and the drop off post off postcode, which is here. And now we have less information, we can play around with it. We can, for example, say that the queue. We want in the front to see that right away because that's important for you. If somebody says, well, I'm calling a car from Fairhold, do you have anybody nearby or do you have a lot of jobs waiting there? So now we have the queue here and that helps us to determine where the jobs are going out from. So therefore, if somebody says, I'm, not, I'm, I'm in Fairhold Road, how much longer do I have to wait for my car? And for argument's sake, there are three more jobs listed here all in the Fairhold queue. You could tell them, well, I've got another three cars in front of you. It will mostly take another five minutes or so. If there's nobody in front, you can say, Madam, your job is the next one out. In the next lesson, we are going to look at the call booker screen, which is where you will be taking all the jobs.